my face. I got blood on my hand. I got blood on the floor. I got blood on my face. I'm about to take someone out. I'm about to take someone out. I'm about to take someone out. Before they take me out. Oh, nice. Plenty ways get rich. Plenty ways get hit. Run up the base. I'm behind. Oh man, major turn of events potentially here at UFC 295. Main event in jeopardy, massive cut. Doctor has been called in. We might get a stoppage here to the main event. Yeah, that would be terrible, right? You don't want a fight that's been this good to end on a cut, and you see the fighter he wants to continue. And it looks as though the doctor will indeed allow the action to continue. That is a bad cut, DC. They've got to work quickly on the cut, John, but they also got to deal with the mentality because that cut takes an effect on your mind. They got to get him ready Great if he fight. wants to win this final Great. round. All right, it all comes down to this. The ringside position will allow the fight to continue. Fifth and final round to this epic main event at UFC 295. Championship round. And the emphasis on his approach needs to be so great right now. He cannot take much damage. He's got to be the guy that's leading the dance and scoring to give himself an opportunity. to the feet now. Reach advantage was his at the outset and he was able to take advantage there. Gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. Let's go to Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 16 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, John Bones All right, so as usual, John Jones leaving an opponent in his wake. He gets it done tonight by TKO. He does.
trying to stay alive like the Bee Gees. Done it for the guts and the glory. And if we ever rise it, we ain't shooting feet, we ain't Tory. Mommy voted Labour, we was poorly. But I don't want you sobbing to my story. Can't made it out the trenches. Now I got a taste, it's expensive. Cartier lenses, premium plus on the Benzes. I was dead broke, I had to mend it. I wink at my shooter, he gon' send it. Follow me, it's been a rocky road. I take my dog off the leash and have a proper stroll. Honeycomb, she my pot of gold. I told her if she stayed down to the end, we gon' rock and roll. You gon' need 21 to salute me. All my friends is dead, so I'm trying to buy. That was bad in the streets way before I got bougie. Type of murders that you only see in movies. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, folks, here we go with the third and in all likelihood final meeting between future Hall of Famers Dustin Poirier and Max Holloway. They met in 2012 and 2019. Poirier getting the upper hand both times. Dustin Poirier does a great job of using his range. He's the bigger guy, so he uses his size to control Max Holloway. The one thing you know about Max Holloway, he is a dog and he is a gamer. And anytime he's in there, he's going to try to take it to you as he has done time and time again against Dustin Poirier. Oh man, I can barely get the Fight Clock sponsor out. These gentlemen are going at it. They are here to fight tonight. I cannot wait for this fight to continue. Oh, how good is that Poirier jab? He's got huge hands and certainly was able to find the home for his jab there. I mean, the King of Lafayette has got it going tonight. Dustin Poirier fights in the southpaw, but he's a right-handed guy. That's why that jab does so much damage to his opponent. Oh, good block there. Oh, misses with the jab. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Poirier gets caught with that punch. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect him. Holloway's uppercut is blocked. 25 total strikes have landed for Max Holloway. And that was not the danger in the engagement there. Barely missed on an uppercut right here in the inside. Oh, nice jab to the head there by Max Blessed Holloway. He sets this really high pace with hope that his opponent can't keep up. And we've seen him do it. How about the accuracy to land right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. 90 seconds now to go in round one. Well, now that cut in the eye area, Daniel, becoming a major storyline. He's got huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, he's hurt bad. been a crazy fight. Oh, oh, he's in a world of trouble now. High volume on both sides, and both of these guys are giving it as good as they're taking it. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Holloway. Big elbow there. And that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. you to show All right, back to the stools we go. Offensively, a lot to like from him, but on defense, he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, it's got to be the whole game, though, John. He's got to be willing and able to do everything. He's done a good job on the offensive side, but he has not defended well, and now he's dealing with that nasty cut. That cut is going to be an issue as the fight goes forward. He's got to change something. All right, here we go. Round two. Dustin Ready the fight. Diamond Pori and Max Blessed Holloway. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. In the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Crowd going bananas. Big opportunity for both fighters. These are the types of fights that makes it so fun to see. <laughs> It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's a 
doesn't think completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. All right, well, things are getting critical now. A lot of damage, a lot of blood in and around that eye. You could stop this fight right now. You can stop it. An elbow! Oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly way. Oh, oh, he might get finished here. Poirier's doing a nice job there raising the guard to protect the eye with that block. You can't allow that cut to get rid of Oh, he is stunned. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Holloway's eye is officially swollen shut. The referee keeping a close eye on things. Maybe he'll call for the ringside position, but that condition is only going to get worse as this fight continues. Oh, that's how the Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer now. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 58 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. All right, there it is, Dustin by TKO. This man prioritized to finish tonight, and he didn't miss. In the build-up to the fight, it's all he talked about. Knowing that he could finish this fight, goes out there and does exactly that.